In this video, we're going to look at solving Venn diagram problems. So we're going to be looking at drawing some Venn diagrams and answering questions based on them. I'm hoping you're already aware of what all the symbols mean. So the N shape means and, which means these two events, A and B, both happening together. The U shape means the union, so that's either they're both happening together or just A is happening or just B is happening and the dash is not, so this is the probability of not A, A not happening. There are some formulas given to us in the formula book which I've put a copy of here. I don't really use them very much, um, I use the first one so the probability of the union of A and B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. And we can also rearrange it by adding the probability of A and B to both sides and subtracting the probability of the union of A and B, which has the effect of switching them over. So that means the probability of A and B is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of the union of A and B. The given that formula, so this B line A means the probability of B given A. So if we have the probability of B given A, this is just a rearranged version of this one. It's the probability of both of them together, so A and B, or B and A, divided by whatever's given. So for a given that question, you divide by whatever's given. So A is given, so it's divided by the probability of A. If it was the probability of A given B, and B is given, it would be the probability of both of them together, divided by the probability of B. So these are the formulas that we're actually going to be using answering these questions. So here we've got some information and this information is enough for us to draw our Venn diagram. So we've got A and B, so the two circles are A and B, an A circle and a B circle. So A and B, that goes in the middle. So the middle is the area that represents both A and B at the same time. The probability of A is 0 0.4. We've already got 0 0.1. So that means the rest of the circle must be 0 0.3. The probability of B is 0 0.3. We've already got 0 0.1 in the B circle. So we need another 0 0.2. So far we've got 0 0.6, so outside, so neither A or B, must be whatever's left to make it 1, because all probabilities add up to one hole, the outside must be 0 0.4. So the first question, find the probability of the union of A and B. So we could use this formula, the union of A and B, so 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.1, which would be 0 0.6. Or we could just look at our Venn diagram and say these two are A, these two are B, and a union means all of that. So all of those together, which is 0 0.6. The probability of not A, that's everything that's not A. So we could do 1 minus the probability of A, which is 0 0.6. Or we could just look at the ones on the Venn diagram that aren't A, which is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4, which is also 0 0.6. And the probability of A and not B. So these ones are A, which ones are not B? That's these two. 
So which ones are both of those? Where is it A and not B? It's the one with both the lines. So that's 0 0.3. Okay, here's another question. If you want to pause the video and go through this one, you can. Otherwise, just keep watching. So I'm going to try and draw the Venn diagram first again. Got C and D this time. This time we've been given the union and not the and. So I'm going to use the formula to get the probability of A and B, which would be probability of A plus probability of B minus the union of A and B. So that will be 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.6, which would be 0 0.1. So the and section is 0 0.1 and now we can just fill out the rest of the Venn diagram so the probability of C is 0 0.3 we've been given well we know the middle bit 0 0.1 so we need another 0 0.2 the probability of D is 0 0.4 we've got 0 0.1 so we need another 0 0.3 and all of this adds up to 0 0.6 which means the outside must be 0 0.4. Okay, the probability of C and D. We've already worked that out. That was 0 0.1. The probability of not C, the union of not C and D. So which bits are not C? These two are C. These two are not C. And which bits are D? That's these two bits inside the D circle. So a union means everything I've marked with a line. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.4, that would be 0 0.8. And if I get rid of these lines so I can draw some new ones, the probability of not C and not D. So it's and this time, not C, that's those bits, not D, these bits are D, so they're not D. Which bits? So it's and, so both of those things, the bit with both the lines, so that's 0 0.4. Okay, this time we've got some given that information. So we're going to use that given that formula, so the probability of A given B is the probability of both of them together divided by what's given, so the probability of B. So we can find probability of A and B by times and by probability of B. So the probability of A and B is probability of A given B times the probability of B. So in this case, that's 0 0.4 times 0 0.6. Now 4 times 6 is 24. So 0 0.4 times 0 0.6, that's 0 0.24. So we can draw our Venn diagram now. The middle bit is 0 0.24. The probability of A is 0 0.5. We've already got 0 0.24, so we need another 0 0.26. The probability of B is 0 0.6. We've already got 0 0.24, so we need another 0 0.36. And the mid middle adds up to, so we've got 0 0.24 and 0 0.36. Well, that's 0 0.6. This circle 0 0.6 plus 0 0.26 is 0 0.86 and that means we've got 0 0.14 left. 
1 minus 0 0.86 is 0 0.14. Okay, now we can answer the question. So the probability of B given A. Again, we're going to use this formula. So that's the probability of both of them together. Divide by what's given. So that's 0 0.24 divide by the probability of A, which is 0 0.5, and that will give us 0 0.48. The probability of the union of A and B, so these two are A, these two are B, so the union is all three of these together, which is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.26, 0.86 and I'll get rid of those lines the probability of not A and not B so these two bits are not A these two bits are not B which is both of them 0 0.14 okay one more question if you can pause the video and give it a go, do that. Otherwise, keep watching. So we're going to draw our Venn diagram first. We've been given all the information we need. So we've got A and B. The middle bit is 0 0.4. Probability of A is 0 0.5. We've already got 0 0.4. So 0 0.1 left. B is 0 0.6, we've already got 0 0.4, so 0 0.2 left, and all of these add up to 0 0.7, so we must have 0 0.3 on the outside. Okay, the questions. Find the probability of B given A, that's the probability of both of them together, divided by what's given. So the probability of A and B is 0 0.4. Probability of A is 0 0.5. So that means we've got 0 0.8. The probability of the union of A and B. So that's these middle circles. So these bits are A. These bits are B. A union means all of it together. So that's 0 0.7. And the probability of A given not B. So that's the probability of A and not B. Divided by what's given, which is the probability of not B. The probability of not B is 0 0.4. Because 1 minus the probability of B. And the probability of A and not B. So I get rid of these lines. Which bits are A? That's these two. Which bits are not B? So these bits are B. So these two are not B. So it's an AND. So what's both of those? It's just the 0 0.1. Which means we've got 0 0.25.